Hello everyone. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas holiday and you managed to get some rest and you spent some time with your families. I also hope you've had a fantastic start to the new year. So happy 2021. I certainly hope it's going to be a fantastic year for you all with lots of exciting things happening, um, new learning, and yeah, hopefully we'll have an end to coronavirus. So lots of things to look forward to, I think, this year. Um, for our assembly today, I thought I would link it to the fantastic reading challenge that Ms. Dacken has prepared for everyone that you will have received um, on the website and on parent pay. Um, and one of the challenges Ms. Dacken has set is to read um, a book featuring penguins or polar bears. Some of you that know me well know that I really, really love penguins. So I have chosen a very simple, very sweet little story to read to you today, and it is called The Lonely Penguin. I hope you enjoy it. But before we start the story, I thought I'd share some pictures um, of some very cute penguins. There's a little penguin family, some baby penguins. There are many different types of penguins, actually. And fun fact, not all penguins live in the cold. Some penguins actually live in warm countries, warm places, like in Australia and like in South Africa. Here's an example of a penguin that lives in a warm country. This is an Australian penguin, um, and they like to live on the shore or near to the shore, and they like warmer weather. They don't like the freezing cold um, that the penguins I showed, first of all, the Antarctic penguins um, enjoy. Here is another example of some African penguins. These are penguins that I grew up seeing um, along beaches where I used to live. Um, they like to actually live in amongst the rocks and the shrubs and amongst the plants. They don't live on the beach. They don't live in the ice or the icy areas. They like to hide under tree, tree stumps and under um, the roots of trees and they make their little hideaways um, in amongst leaves and plants. So interesting fact for today. Not all penguins like the cold, but the penguin that I'm going to read about in the story today does like the ice and does like the cold. So get yourselves nice and comfortable and enjoy the story. The Lonely Penguin. Crunch, crunch, who's coming through the snow? It's Penguin, he's lonely. Crunch, crunch, Penguin's looking for his friends. He can't think where they can be. I wonder if you have a thought where his friends might be. Crunch, crunch, Penguin's running through the snow. He's sliding on the frosty ice. Crunch, crunch, Penguin's looking everywhere. Penguin climbs up the hill. Are his friends at the top? Hmm, I wonder what you think. No. Penguin looks down into the sea. Are his friends at the bottom? Penguin jumps into the air. Splash! Yes! Penguin finds his friends swimming in the cold water. They all laugh and say, where have you been? And that's the end of the story. As I said, it's a very simple, sweet little story. Um, the story map that you can see on the screen now is something you could use to retell the story of the lonely penguin to your friend or to your brother or sister, maybe to your mum or dad, or maybe if you don't have anyone to tell the story to, you could tell the story to yourself or to a toy of yours that you have that you might like to share the story of the lonely penguin with. Maybe even your cat or dog, sometimes they like to hear stories too. Now, as I said, I took the idea for that story from Mrs. Dacken's January Reading Challenge. There are loads of things that you can do over the month of January, reading a book um, that is set in the snow, for example, reading a book while enjoying your favorite hot drink, maybe a hot chocolate. Um, you could celebrate um, by reading a Winnie the Pooh story, celebrate Winnie, Winnie the Pooh 
um, author A. A. Milne's birthday, which is on the on January the 18th. You could read a book about a character who doesn't look like you. There are loads and loads and loads of fun ideas for you to do with regards to reading. So I hope you do um, have a look through the reading challenge and you pick a few that you might be interested in trying out. Ms. Deckham's also set up some January writing challenges, which your parents will have received on email and they're also on the website. The January reading challenge is really exciting. It says, Write a story up to 500 words using the story starter below. So it can be less than 500 words, but not more than 500 words. And the story starter is a very cool picture, very interesting little picture. Um, and it says, despite being a superhero, spending the majority of his time battling against crime and dangerous villains in Gotham City with an array of different skills and deadly weapons, Batman, believe it or not, has a weakness for chicken nuggets. He enjoys chicken nuggets. The other superheroes were also making the most of their afternoon off from saving the world. However, they didn't have long. Soon, they would have to get back to business. So you could build on that story starter and take it wherever you would like it to go. Maybe um, describe how Batman is powered by these um, chicken nuggets or do something completely different, whatever um, catches your fancy. It was lovely to be with you all virtually, um, if not in person. Um, sadly, we're still not able to do that, but I hope you are taking care, staying safe, doing some home learning, doing lots of reading and looking after yourselves. We miss you and we hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.